Jurassic World. So it wasn't until recently I sat down and watched the Jurassic Park trilogy for the first time. Jurassic Park 1 I thought was amazing. Jurassic Park 2, hmm, not bad. Wasn't a fan of Jurassic Park 3, so I, but the trailers just made me really excited to see Jurassic World. And now that I've literally just got back from the cinema from seeing it, I can tell you that, yeah, it's awesome. First off, straight at the beginning of the film, you arrive in Jurassic World and you just get this feeling inside you like, wow, John Hammond's vision has now come to life. Jurassic World is now open. And it is awesome to see Jurassic World actually open. There's tourists all over the place, thousands of people in Jurassic World, and you see all these different attractions, you hear the announcements over the speakers, and it just looks like an insane place to go. And it just it's just amazing to see it actually finally open and operational. It was just really awesome to see that stuff. Now I thought all the actors in the film did relatively good jobs. I thought Chris Pratt was good in the film and I like the fact that he weren't like Star Lord in this film like I were expecting him to be all comedic and having all these one liners and stuff but he wasn't. It was actually pretty serious uh, for this for this role which I thought was pretty good. Also I thought Bryce Dallas Howard did a good job as well. Then we come to the two kids and yeah I thought they both they both do good jobs but the older kid, you don't really care about the older kid because he's like, he's always like on his phone, he doesn't want to be there, he's always like telling his brother to shut up when he's saying about all these dinosaur facts and he's just like looking at girls all the time. So it's like, douchebag, why are you even on this trip if you don't even want to be here, if you know what I mean? So you don't really care about the old kid, but the little kid, you do kind of care about. But here comes the praise, the special effects, the CGI and special effects were insane in this film. They were really good. I mean, the first Jurassic Park film did a good job of using animatronics to make it look real, but this one, I don't know if they use animatronics, but they use more CGI, but it's actually really good CGI in this film, especially for some scenes. I mean, you know that scene in the second trailer where that huge dinosaur comes out of the water and just snaps up that, that big pterodactyl? Yeah, it's just some awesome CGI and it was just insane to see that on the big screen. What I liked about Jurassic World as well, it had quite a lot of what I really liked about the first Jurassic Park film. It had some intensity, it had excitement, it had some building up tension moments like they're looking for the dinosaur through the woods and it's just like, you can tell it's building up, you tell something's coming and it's just like when they're hiding from the dinosaur it just like creeps up next to them and's like sniffing them out and it's just really intense stuff sometimes and when it all goes down you are smiling. Really exciting stuff. Plus you got some throwbacks to the first Jurassic Park film which I actually really liked as well. But this film was brought all home in the final act. The final act of this film, the finale, was just... Mind equals blown. I'm telling you, the finale of this film is just phenomenal. It's just... I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's just so much awesomeness. Like, I know I say this a lot, but you know like when something's so amazing, you just like, your jaw drops and you just like... <laughs> That's just awesome. You get a lot of that in this film, particularly in the finale. It is a, it's just some sick stuff. If you have any downsides, I will say in terms of like any human antagonist, there is kind of one, but I didn't really get what his whole motivation for what he was doing was. Like, he didn't really explain like why he's doing what he's doing. So I was just like, so why is he the human bad guy? But yeah, yeah that that was like the big downside for me but it doesn't like take away from the whole film too much. Plus some of the acting was a bit, mm, some cheesy lines here and there, but in the end, the downsides only bring it down a little tiny bit. It's not like I'm gonna hold it against the film and say the film's awful, because it's not. This is an awesome movie. As a matter of fact, I'd say, give or take, possibly the best film of the year so far. I will give Jurassic World a four out of five. So have you seen Jurassic World? What are your thoughts about it? Tell me down there. And if you like this stuff and you wanna see more of my stuff, be sure to subscribe because I got stuff coming to you guys all the time.